Billions of people are becoming aware of an event all over the world. It'll be on television, it already is. It's going to be something that has to do with one city called Rio de Janeiro. Rio, they're all saying, are you going to Rio? And people are coming by the thousands and hundreds of thousands to Rio in the middle of August in 2016 is a big year. Don't miss out on what God is going to do as well. Christians are coming together, many organizations, and as they come together, they are going to have Jesus as their focal point. And it's Jesus for all. Think of what it means. Jesus said to go into all the world. So we're to go to every nation. We're to disciple every nation. Guess what? All the nations are coming to Rio. I first started, I saw the Olympics for the first time in 1960 in Rome. And I like swimming and diving, so I went to that event. That's the only one I saw. And as I was sitting down looking and watching, I started talking to the man next to me. And it turned out his name was Vassal. And he was from Moscow. And I said, what do you do? And he says, I'm a diving coach. And uh, so we made friends. 1960 was Cold War. And he invited me to come to Moscow. And I was there the next year as his host to me and at his uh, invitation. I got to swim with the Olympic team from the Soviet Union at that time. And, uh, and dive a little bit, and I was not good, but I got to do that. And then I got to talk to him about his own soul's welfare. And his wife, he said, I want my wife to come. She's an engineer. And we set out on the lawn overlooking the river there. In 1961, things were really different then. And I was able to share with them. And I saw something come into their hearts and lives. They were very careful because anything they did, they could be imprisoned or whatever. But I saw something that God did out of the Olympics. I want to challenge all the Christian organizations. Bring them from your church. Bring them from your, your organization. Bring them from all over the world through those relationships that you have. And as you do so, we come together in unity around one purpose. We'll be salt and light but we will also be uh, those that share as we create relationships. And those relationships, we want to then introduce them to our best friend of all, and that's Jesus. That's why we call it Jesus for All. So plan now, start working now, start praying now, so that we can see God at work through us as we all gather in Rio in the middle of August, 2016. Don't miss it and don't wait till the last minute. Begin now praying, now planning, and now gathering those through communication, through influence, through sharing with others what God's gonna do. But it's not just for that period of time. Because it's the Olympic year, and a lot of focus will be on Brazil for that entire year. We want to have all over the area, especially of Rio, reaching Rio itself to prepare the ground when others will come in. So there are many plans already started. Get vision from God and what Jesus says, have faith for because faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of the Lord. And what he shows you to do, have the faith that it will be done and it will be fruitful. God bless uh, the nation of Brazil and the city of Rio because God has some plans for Rio that go way beyond the sports that are going to be shown there. God bless you.